In the beaker is a mixture of soap, water, and some glycerin. At the bottom of the beaker is a tube. You can get this tube from aquarium supply stores. And in the tube, there are tiny little holes poked into it with a little push pin. And I have the tube hooked up to the natural gas outlet. And so natural gas is flowing through the tube and creating these micro bubbles of natural gas. So all those bubbles you see at the top is natural gas bubbles. They're very strong because they're made up of soap and water and some glycerin. The video is being played at four times faster than normal speed and the bubbles are rising somewhat quickly. We're going to add a flame to those tiny bubbles of methane gas. Well you saw what happened. Why doesn't the flame burn the hand? Heat from the reactions being released upward, not downward, so the hand is perfectly fine. Let's take a look at an even bigger flame. To make the natural gas react with the oxygen and the air, a little energy is needed, so that's what the flame is for. And so you have enough heat and enough oxygen, it's going to react with the natural gas, and it's an exothermic reaction. So tons of heat energy is being released from this reaction. Exo means to the outside, so heat energy is being released to the outside. And you can see some light energy as well.